Hey guys, RC here, back with Starter's Orders 7, and this is episode 8, I believe. Uh, I wanted to check real quick on the Discord channel and see if by chance they had answered. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, one of the questions I had asked was this information here. And this, they said they believe that this stands for days since last race and since last win. So those would typically be the same unless you didn't win your last race, right? And then, which he did. So that stands to reason. So there we go. All right. Well, that's a good, uh, that's probably some good numbers to know. All right. So I've moved up to February 23rd. We do have a race tomorrow. And uh, we have a couple here in the next couple of days. I've also booked our two-year-olds back into their next set of maiden races. And they are killing me. Uh, we did go in and we did uh, get two new broodmares. I believe it was young Jackie and Nisha. So young Jackie is a... Uh, grade three a group three winner herself she's got a little bit of earnings she has a couple of wins there's her group three win in the regret class one grade three but then she kind of tailed off we had some money wins here in grade ones so that's that's reassuring and then for nesha seven year old so a pair of young young breeding mares, she's got four group wins, including a group one and two group twos. So that's really good. And uh, so hopefully we can get something out of there. Uh, young Jackie, if we take a look at her, really good potential. So I, I think we've got something there. I went ahead because her bars are pretty good. I went ahead and bred her with Van Doesburg, which is our horse. That's out to stud. And what I'm hoping is some of his higher stuff down here carries over. He's pretty close to her up here. And we have the extra speed that she already has. So hopefully that turns into something. Uh, and let's see, the other one was Nesha. We went with Whitby Jack, which is one of the higher end horses. I believe uh, that's at a million dollars for a uh, stud fee. So uh, she's not quite as good, but uh, no, that's young Jackie again. Come on, figure it out, RC. Uh, so our bars are not quite as good here, but very good extra speed. So hopefully by putting her with a good horse, we can get some potential out of that. Now, of course, it's much nicer if you have something definitive on your horse that you can judge by, but we'll figure that out because again, we're just starting to breed with Van Doesburg uh, this year and we'll be able to see how that translates over. Uh, let me go ahead and save. We already have the races in, so let's move up to tomorrow. And then uh, March 1st, we also have uh, yearling auctions, so we'll take care of that. And this will be Amthal. So, man, I hope we can figure out something but boy doesn't look good we're carrying uh equal to the lowest weight we have the second lowest rating outside of sangaroo who just won their maiden their first race but anthal's coming off a win of course i believe that was his maiden as well so tipsters don't like him He's parading well and fit. We've got a couple that are looking a little lazy. So hopefully we can pull something off here. All right, we're kind of in the middle of the track. Get off to a good start. That's good. We'll ease out in front by a length. All right, we're looking good there. Drifting over towards the rail. Not sure I like him being ridden as a leader, as a, you know, front of the pace, but, and there goes Sophia's number one. 
We're on the rail, so we're looking okay. Here comes a charge of three horses coming up on us. Ursus, Amzor, Yuru, and we are fading on the rail. Are we going to have any charge here? All right, looks like he put a charge there. One furlong to go. Come on, Amthal, do something here. Uh, it's number two, Ursus. We're up into third. And we hold on for a third place finish. All right, that's not horrible. That's not horrible. That gets us into the prize money, a little over $4,000. He did fade again, so it's possible. Ridden as a stalker, didn't have the pace, ran well considering. All right, I don't think we have anybody else running today. No, we don't. All right, let's check him. So the pace. What transpires into pace for him? Is that just speed? I mean, he's got almost 90 speed on the front. He's got extra speed rating. I don't know. I don't know. If you know what translates to pace, let me know. But a grade three in the money. A show in the you know a show in a grade three, so that may be what we're looking at for him. Uh, stamina is running up into that seven furlongs to a mile. Constitution's a little low, but he has maxed out his potential. So do we want to see about booking him in another race? Well, actually, that was a seven furlongs. So let's look for another seven. All right. Hey, you. How's it going? Selling race, selling races. This is a grade three. Oh, you coming? All right. Say hi to everybody, George. Now, this is for Phillies. 97 rating. We're a 78. I think we're going to stay away from that. That might be a race to enter. Class 3 open. Let's go ahead and enter. When is this? This is on March 18th. So it's almost a month out. Let's go ahead and enter there. We'll be on the lightest weight. Second highest rating. So feeling comfortable with that. And we have two horses running. Neither one are the favorites. Let's go ahead and save and get out to the track. But we've made some money today, so that's good. All right, Cashmere Brown, seven to one. We're on the lightest weight. Next, uh, come on, don't do that. <laughs> next to lowest, uh, next to lowest rating. John Biscuit's the favorite. We're moving well, lean and ready to go. Uh, four, eight, twelve, three to one. I tell you what, I'm gonna put a bet on him, just because. And we're going right, a right turn course. A little bit of a slow start, quickly regains and then rears up. So we're holding him back a little bit. We settle in at the rear. Now, are we going to have any room to maneuver? All right, they are just pulling away and we are not anywhere in sight. One and a half furlongs to go. We're drifting farther and farther off the pace and... I don't know if it's the turf. I don't know if it is the right-hand turn. They're running straight, so the turn should not be an issue. My goodness. That's horrible. That's horrible. Last halfway, never competitive. Bad, bad race. Could have settled better. All right, so that is a, that is a possible breeding thing. 
we will have to keep that in mind. All right, third half going off as a joint favorite. Uh, we are the high, uh, second highest rating with Orientor. Oh, who won? Uh, John Biscuit finished third. All right, well, <laughs> yes, we didn't win that money. Orienter looks the, the dominant horse here, coping well, lean and ready to go. Nobody's looking bad in this field. So let's go out and see if... Uh, if we can do something here third half starting on the far outside breaks late very poor start settles in at the rear makes a little move to get up with the pack stays on the outside luckily i don't think running on the outside is a bad thing i don't think we take any turns here although it is a mile seven furlongs maybe we do all right we're riding with the chasing group up into the top five, making a move, and then kind of drops off the pace. Oh, that's, we were showing a little promise there, and yeah, just fell off all the way back to the back of the pack, just in front of World's, world's Agent, Wold's Agent. Half a furlong to go, and we have nothing. The number two horse, Tate O'Clock, is moving into second and takes second at the wire. And we come in ahead of Wold's agent by about three lengths. Exactly three lengths. Rear early progressed, soon weakened. So again, a weakening issue. Ridden as a stalker. No chance. All right, well, we'll get out of that. Boy, boy. Not, not liking what I'm seeing there, man. And, you know, I have a feeling it's something that I'm doing or not doing because his bars look good, yeah, you know, for, for what I'm looking at, for what I think I'm supposed to look at. All right, well, I'm going to go hit the yearling auction here in a couple of days, so I'll be back for some racing with you momentarily. All right, well, I have to apologize. I thought I had hit unpause, but I hit stop record, and so we missed all the races. Uh, I don't even know who the last race was. So let's go back and look here. Uh, Amthal finished, uh, it was a grade three, seven furlongs, finished third, and the jockey said uh, suited perfectly, did not have the pace. Uh, Cashmere Brown finished seventh out of seven in a five furlong conditions race. Uh, never in it, could have settled better. So I was hoping... I mean, in a grade one, class one, grade three, we finish fourth. We go to a class two, which should be a step down, and we do worse. So I don't know what to make of that. And as I mentioned last episode, I think, I think it's the classes that are throwing me off. I'm assuming class one is the harder race, but I would think a class one, grade three, was still going to be harder than a class two. I don't know though, but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's not the case. Oh, well, if you know, let me know below. Third half, uh, we sent him out in the one mile betting world guineas, uh, class one, grade two, and he finished seventh out of eight, had no chance out there. So class two handicap, we finished fifth. And a class one grade three, we finished, we won. So class one, class one, grade two. So maybe we need to go back to a grade three. Now, granted, that was in Kranji as well. So, but I think we look at him in a class, in a grade three and see what he does there. And then, of course, you can see the uh, finishes 6th, 2nd, 8th, and 4th. 
Uh, Benru Adventure actually took the lead down at the wire. Uh, but again, they're saying it's too far. I've got nothing less that I can run her at. So I think maybe we just sit on her for a little while and maybe let her train and see if that helps get the stam up a little bit. I don't know if you if training does that. I don't know if you have to go out and win races to improve the the bars, but if they're saying she can't even run a five furlong, there's nothing shorter. So I don't know what to do there. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I think I also went in. Uh, here's the uh, yearlings that we bought. If you wanted to look at those and how much we bought them for. And I did go through each one. We've got two or three that look like they might be okay. You know, that we'll, we'll be looking at as two-year-olds probably to race. The rest will be uh, trying to make some money. But let's get to the next race, I suppose, with Amthal. So, again, Amthal finished third in his last outing. Uh, ridden as a stalker, suited perfectly, didn't have the pace. So, this one, back out for a grade three. We'll see. And I'm thinking about if he struggles, if she struggles again, maybe we just drop the distance a little bit and see if that helps. But I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and save, and we will get out to the track. And we are not the favorites. So that's very disappointing. I mean, I should be used to that, right? Carrying the least amount of weight, uh, we have the second highest rating behind Altos Reals, and they are a joint favorite. The tipsters are like an Altos Reals, and the paddock, Altos Reals is coping well, as are we. So let's go ahead and see if we can do anything whatsoever. Seven furlong race. We broke early. We're on the rail. So that's good. We're keeping the pace. We've moved out to the lead. Altos Reals takes the lead by a half a length. And that's okay. I'm okay running there as long as we're not blowing out our, our batteries here, you know. All right, two furlongs. We're opening up a little bit. Altos Reales is right there, though. We do have some charging horses. Linka, Azamor. Linka is moving up. We're holding on. We're inside a furlong. We are pulling away with Altos Reales, and he is going to nudge us by a length. And are we going to get nipped? Oh, we got nipped by Rain Dottal. Oh, no. I thought we had a second place run there, but we finish third. It does put $4,000 in our pocket. Disputed lead to halfway, nothing extra. That was the problem. Suited well enough, suited perfectly. We were beginning to pick up towards the end. Hmm. Okay. So maybe... Maybe we need to go up to a mile on, on her. Maybe. She's bred at a mile. But again, in the money in a grade three. We did not get a win, but that's okay. That's okay. At least it was a decent run. It's made a little bit of money. She's up to 18000 89000 for third half. Nothing in his three-year-old season to help him out. And Benru Adventure picked up the most money out of our two-year-old class. Let's go ahead and end it there. I'm going to go ahead and move ahead a little bit. We'll set up the next round of racing. And I'm sorry you missed those races. Uh, that was completely my fault but uh, we will try to make it up next episode. You didn't miss anything except us getting beat hand over fist and left and right. Um, my horses looked like in that Mike Tyson training video a couple of weeks ago. 
and uh, they just got their butts kicked. But we'll see you next episode. Hit the like, subscribe, hit the little bell for updates for your daily uploads for my channel, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.